This is News 12 at 9 p.m. Good evening and welcome to News 12 at 9. I'm Allison Harris in for Scott McClendon. An Ada woman is sentenced to 22 years in prison after pleading guilty to stabbing her boyfriend. Loretta Feltz was charged with second degree murder for stabbing her boyfriend, Marcus Watson, in May last year at their home off West First Street in Ada. Feltz must serve 85% of her 22 year sentence before she's eligible for parole. A Cook County cold case was re-examined yesterday at the request of the victim's family. Tracy Hunt was found dead in his apartment in 1981, but officials never ruled whether his death was a homicide or a suicide until a court made the ruling yesterday. Stephen Powell reports. Lamar County is facing a multi-million dollar lawsuit over two murder charges filed five years ago. Ryan Crostley and Shannon Finley are claiming false imprisonment and due process violations against Lamar County. They spent nine months behind bars after they were accused of killing Brandon McClelland in 2008. McClelland's body was found lying in a road outside Paris. A Texarkana District Court tried to remove the county from the lawsuit, but the U.S. Court of Appeals overturned that motion. Lamar County commissioners discussed the case at their meeting yesterday morning. County Judge Chuck Superville spoke on behalf of commissioners, saying every step of criminal procedure was followed in Crossley and Finley's cases. Weather-wise, a few intense storms earlier this evening are no longer a threat. Chief Meteorologist Steve Lenore joins us in the Weather Center with the latest. Steve. The Oklahoma Army private accused of leaking classified documents on WikiLeaks has been acquitted of his most serious charge, but convicted of several others. Bradley Manning has been found guilty of espionage, theft, and computer fraud, but was acquitted for aiding the enemy. Manning is convicted for 19 charges out of the 21 ch total charges filed against him. He faces up to 128 years in prison. Well, early this morning, a woman tried to steal money from the cash register at a Denison restaurant, but a brave waitress caught her red-handed and didn't hesitate to jump into action. Stephen Powell has the story. Health officials in Iowa and Nebraska say they've linked a parasite that's spreading in Texas to packaged salad. 122 cases of cyclospora have been reported in Texas, with the majority of them being in Dallas-Fort Worth. 372 cases have been reported across 15 states nationwide. The parasite is known to cause serious gastrointestinal problems. The Texas Department of State Health Services has not made a connection between cyclospora and packaged salad, the CDC suggests thoroughly washing your fruits and vegetables. Coming up on News 12 at 9, take a look at these future city leaders in the making who got a lesson today on how to build a city. Plus, a trendy new pocket park in Denison might not be coming to the city's downtown area after all. News 12 at 9 will be right back.